How are you all doing? Now in this video we're going to be doing the rear wheel part two and I'm going to get this to only be a second view looking like and this is it now Nope, I'm not going to lie to you it's a totally different wheel and it's a totally different day this is the original wheel we were working on but uh, as I was cleaning it up if you can see that very deep scarring of the material which came from this because Buggins here was in too much of an hurry to try and get a video out for Saturday but luckily I got some awesome tips in the comments on how to take your tyre off and uh, So on this wheel, I don't know if it's going to show up, but just there, there's a flat spot. So I decided to go with the other wheel, which also had the tyre on, bold, but no angle grinder required due to the uh, helpful tips in the comments. It's quite simple, really. Whenever you're taking the tyre off, you have to make sure that the bead goes as deep into the tunnel as you can. Start at the other end, and it's a lot easier. So yes, thanks guys for all the helpful tips. Perfectly splendid. Real bikers, kindred spirits. But I'm not going to lie to you again, because I do know why. I left this wheel well I don't know I do remember why I left this wheel it was because I'd got them off the brake discs out off the brake discs off the brake disc bolts out but two of them were stuck and rounded off luckily I got them out in the end which involved yes an angle grinder and my welder and spare bolts <laughs> just bolted a bolt onto the top well we got that one out first it did have a nut on it yes it had a nut on it like that we got that one out first and then I just welded that one onto the top of that one and the nut snapped off but then when I got the mold grips on that bit it all came undone. Lucky me. So now I'm back to where I was yesterday with the wheel. Needs stripping down and painting. So the next time you see this, it'll look like this. And this is what I have to get through to get there. do for me. I've had enough rubbing down. 
time to get some etch primer on it. primer and next I'll put on some red oxide there we go There's the red oxide on red oxide so now we can put the colour on Restore tip if you're in your workshop or your shed and you've got rotary motorized tools and you're wearing a hoodie to keep warm, cut the tassels off. Right then, let's get the red tape. <laughs> yes, you all know what I'm going to do. Go around the edge with the red tape. I would have loved to have a space in the red tape and add gold lettering with landfill bike. But I uh, can't really find any letters small enough and on a curb, so just the red tape it is. Uh, I'm not too sure whether to leave it sat in black or matte black like that, or being as I'm putting this on, I'll probably uh, put clear lacquer on the top. So anyway, let's get on with it. second side a little bit better than the first side first I did break the tape there so I had to rejoin it and then when I got back round to there to rejoin it again obviously to make the loop but uh, that's the sprocket side so basically when it's on its side stand it'll be like that so you'll only see that side anyway. But that side's good enough for me. But yes, this uh, wheel will be back in the videos because I'm going to lacquer it, but I probably won't show you that on the video. But also, I'm putting new bearings in it. Uh, when you put tape on or stickers and you uh, want to put lacquer on the top, don't do it straight away because tape will shrink and then you'll have a horrible edge around your lacquer trust me I've done it before on a push bike years ago 
fantastic paint job and then a few days later the transfer started shrinking so I'm going to leave this a few days for the tape to acclimatise and stretch or shrink or whatever it's going to do and then I'll put the lacquer on so yes that's it for this video perfectly splendid So, simple as that. Yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful to you. And uh, any questions or tips, please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another light, brother.